In this illustration, we intend to calculate the strain energy due to bending for the steel beam using the Abacus software and analytical solution. As you observe in the picture, 2000 pound force is applied to the both ends of the beam. The length of beam is 90 inches and there are two supports at the points B and C. Actually, this problem has been selected from Mechanics of Materials book. In this picture, this problem can be clearly observed in which the purpose is calculating the strain energy due to bending. I will enter the Abacus software for simulation. I will click on create part. I intend to create geometric shape of the beam. I will select the modeling space as 3D from here deformable. Then select wire and planner and continue. I will draw a horizontal line. As it can be observed in the picture, the length of beam is equal to 90 inches. Done. In the next step, I will enter property module. Click on create material. As explained in the book, the beam is made of steel. I'll click on mechanical menu, then on elasticity and elastic. The young modulus of the steel is equal to 29 multiplied by 10 to the power of 6 psi. The Poisson ratio is equal to 0 0.3. OK. I will click on Create section here. I'll select Beam and continue. Uh, I will click on Create Beam profile. Here, select Rectangular and continue. As you observe in the picture, the cross section of Beam is a rectangle with a height of 3 inches and width equal to 1.5 inches. OK. I will click on Assign section, select the beam, done, and OK. Then I will click on Assign Beam Orientation. Select the beam, done, press the Enter button, and OK. Here you can observe the beam in a three-dimensional form. In the next step, I will enter Assembly Module. Click on Create Instance and OK. After that, I will enter Step Module. Click on Create Step. Here, select a Static General and continue. Since this problem is linear by nature, I will select OFF option. I will enter time period equal to one second. But time period in this problem will not have any effect on the results. And here any time period can be inserted in it. In order to distinguish the places of the supports, uh, we should uh, create partition over the beam. As you observe in this picture, there are two supports at point B and C. I will click on Tools menu, select Datum. Here select Offset from Point, then select this point. As you observe in the picture, the length between points A and B is equal to uh, 15 inches. In the next step, I will, I will select this point. The distance between points C and D is equal to 15 inches. In the next step, I will click on Tools menu, select Partition. From here, choose 
as select midpoint, datum point, select this point and click on create partition. In the next step, I'll select this line, then this point and click on create partition. Click on create load. Here I select concentrated force and continue. I will select this point and this one. As you observe, a 2000 pound force is applied to the both ends of the beam. I will click on create boundary condition, select initial step, then select displacement rotation and continue. I will select this point done. As you observe in the picture, there is a pin support at point B. So I will close all boundary conditions of displacement except UR3. OK. I will click on create boundary condition, select displacement rotation and continue. I will select this point, done. There is a rolling support at point C. This rolling support will allow movement directed at X axis, but would not allow any movement directed at Y axis. So here I will close all boundary conditions of displacement except U1 and UR3. OK. I will enter mesh module. Click on seed the part. Enter approximate global size equal to 0 0.5 inches. OK. Then I will click on mesh part and yes. After that, I will click on assign element type. Select the whole of the beam. Done. I will put the element family on beam and OK. Here I will save the model. I will enter job module, then click on create a job. Then click on Submit. The analysis was done successfully, so I click on Result. Here you observe the deformation of the beam. The purpose of this problem is to calculate the strain energy due to the due to bending. Here the problem has been solved using using the analytical solution. To do so, first we should calculate the reaction forces at points B and C and they are equal to 2000 pound. Then uh, we should write the relation of bending moment. Here the first relation concerns the bending moment for AB section. The second relation is related to bending moment for BC section. In the next step uh, we can calculate the strain energy using this formula and this formula has actually been extracted from Mechanics of Materials book.
Here, this formula can be observed and that is used for calculating the strain energy due to bending. M is the bending moment. E is the Young modulus and I is the moment of inertia. Here, first, the strain energy of AB section has been calculated, and the strain energy of AB section is equal to 22.988. In the next step, the strain energy of BC section has been calculated and is equal to 275.862. In the last step, in order to calculate the total strain energy, we should add the strain energy of A, B, B, C, and C, D together. And the total strain energy is equal to 321.84. Here, we intend to calculate the total a strain energy using the Abacus software and then compare the results obtained from the Abacus software with those of analytical solution. I will click on create XY data, select ODB history output and continue. Here I will select strain energy and click on save as. Here you observe the strain energy having been obtained from the Abacus software. The strain energy having been obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 323.242. As you observe, the strain energy having been obtained from the Abacus software is so close to those results gained from analytical solution. Strain energy obtained from the Abacus software is equal to 323.242 and the strain energy obtained from the analytical solution is equal to 321.84. As you observe, the results of Abacus software are precisely equal to those gained from the analytical solution.